Intel's getting serious with their GPUs. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so just a little bit ago, we talked about how Intel is apparently potentially still going to be producing even more powerful GPUs for the Battle Mage series of graphics cards, which would include stuff like the B580. And apparently these cards could maybe be the B770 and B780 GPUs. And don't get me wrong, those GPUs are almost certainly going to be very, very impressive. In fact, they could actually give cards like the RTX 5070 a run for their money and come in at a far lower price. However, it looks like that's just the tip of the iceberg as apparently Intel, well, they're working on even more powerful GPUs and as you might have guessed, well, it's going to be the next generation of graphics cards codenamed Celestial and actually the architecture is going to be called XE3. Now, as far as I understand, XE3 is actually already complete and it is getting ready to be produced hopefully soon, but we don't know the exact timelines quite yet. We'll get into potential release states in just a little bit here but yeah it's actually completed and it will be happening so no it's not canceled we are definitely going to be seeing xe3 especially considering the battle mage actually sold really really well in fact from what i understand it sold way above the expectations that intel had and it's been a massive massive success the only unfortunate part is they probably didn't make a ton of money on it because it had a lot of r d costs and well they priced it very very aggressively but that was great for us assuming you could get one but now let's talk about the next generation of gpus because yes according to wccf tech it looks like quote intel's rumored to be using gddr7 memory chips in its next gen arc desktop gpus likely part of the xe3 celestial lineup and they actually go ahead and post here a well post from the twitter user Hayes over on X and he actually stated that future art graphics cards to use GDDR7 and as you can see here in the screenshot it looks like there is some sort of a job posting regarding discrete graphics which does mean yes desktop GPUs not the ones in mobile which is very very exciting news here and it does talk at the bottom about GDDR6 and yes 7 so it looks like G7 is going to be potentially popping up in the Celestial GPUs or the next-gen graphics cards, and I'm here to tell you that is actually very likely. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look here at some charts if they're on together to get an idea of just how powerful the next generation might be. Now, once again here, we can see that, yes, I did list the B770 and the B780, which sounds like they might actually be coming by the end of this year, although we'll have to wait and see if that does end up being the case, but whether or not those do end up releasing, yes, Celestial will, and Celestial will likely actually max out at far more cores than the B580. And those cores are gonna have higher IPC as well as clock higher at the same time. As the Battle Mage series of GPUs was a jump from six nanometer over at TSMC to five nanometer. And as they make those jumps, the efficiency as well as the clock speed of the chips will improve regardless of the architecture. And the architecture is gonna see some massive improvements as well. We did see apparently around a 50% improvement in Battle Mage versus Alchemist. I don't suspect to see that much out of Celestial, but I do think Think you'll see another big improvement when it comes to the IPC. But enough about that, let's talk about those specs. So I do suspect you'll see with the C770, a 32XE core or 4096 ALUs, which you can kind of think of as the cores. That's actually gonna be the same amount that we saw on the A770. However, again, those cores are gonna have much, much higher IPC and they are gonna clock higher. In fact, if we take a look here, I am suspecting somewhere between three and 3.1 gigahertz on the C770. And I believe roughly either 16 or 32 megabytes of cache I think it's going to be 32 and then you're going to get 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 running at 28 gigabits per second for 896 gigabytes per second. Now that's very impressive because when you take a look at the B580 or the current fastest GPU that Intel has, well that thing only has 456 gigabytes per second. So that would be a 1.96x increase in the memory bandwidth for the Celestial series if this ends up being the case. And that is gonna lead to, yes, a far more powerful graphics card because yes, memory bandwidth doesn't mean everything, but it is 
typically an indicator of how powerful the GPU manufacturer believes the GPU might be. Because of course you wouldn't give it way more memory bandwidth than it needs, that would be a waste of resources. So with that being the case, you know, could this be twice as fast as the B580? Well, I think it is certainly possible. Now I do also believe this should be coming in at around 280 watts, so you are gonna see an increase in power. But now let's talk about the C780. Now I'm not 100% certain if you will see this card. This would be the absolute limit of what I think Intel would be willing to do with the Celestial series. And it would simply be a slight improvement over the C770. You'd get a little bit more cores, 36 versus 32. The clock speed would certainly be maxed out at 3.1 gigahertz. And you should see around 36 megabytes max, although it is possible you might see 18 megabytes of cache on that thing. And then you should be seeing the same 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 running at 28 gigabits per second on the 256 bit bus for again, 896 gigabytes per second, although the power would likely go up to 330 watts. Now, whether or not this GPU does exist depends on if Intel believes that they can sink a little bit more money producing a slightly more powerful graphics card or if they wanna stay safe and produce just the C770. It really could go either way at this point in time. I don't have a for sure answer on whether or not both cards exist, but I do know you should at least see something like the C770, but maybe the C780 if we're lucky. Now you might be wondering why are they gonna be clocking these GPUs higher? Well, it's because they should be going to the N4P process. Now they could use some other version of the N4 process from TSMC, but this will be an improvement over the N5 process. Now the N4 process or family of processes is simply a slight adjustment to N5. It's a slight improvement. It's not a massive leap like it would be going to three nanometer. However, it still is gonna be an improvement of it looks like 11% in terms of performance versus N5 straight from the TSMC website. So it's not gonna be a huge improvement from the process side. You're gonna see mostly improvements from the architecture itself. And you might be wondering why not use the TSMC three nanometer process? And look, I could be wrong. They could end up using the three nanometer process, but I think that's actually very unlikely. It seems like Intel is far more comfortable saving a lot of money on the chips and going one process node behind. And personally, I do think that is the winning strategy if they wanna have budget GPUs in the entry level to mid tier range, you know, anywhere from a 60 class to a 70 class, or maybe a 70 Ti, maybe they could reach up to 80 class depending on final performance. I really do think this is the right call. But how fast are these things gonna be and when should they be releasing? Well, taking a look here at my next chart, we can crunch some simple numbers and the C770 at a maximum amount of clock speed should come in at roughly 2.5 times faster than the A770. Now, if we compare that to available data on the RTX 5070 and 5080, that means it would land somewhere between the RTX 5070 and the RTX 5080. However, the C770 would likely come in at a price point of 399. So if you're talking about a GPU that has more memory than the 5070, 16 gigabytes versus 12, more memory bandwidth and is somewhere between the 5070 and 5080, but roughly half the price of an RTX 5080, I mean, that's gonna be a really, really good graphics card. And then let's take a look at the C780. Now, if they do choose to produce this graphics card again, I'm a little on the fence whether or not they will. Well, this actually would come in just behind the RTX 5080. And I think they would target a price point between 450 and $500. So once again, you're talking about an RTX 5080 effectively. And remember, Intel actually does have really good AI upscaling as well as AI performance on their cards as well. So they have great, I mean, honestly, really excellent software support that I do think in some ways can rival Nvidia, although of course Nvidia is gonna have the edge, but it's very good. And yeah, you're basically getting an RTX 5080 for half the price. Now, I really hope the C780 exists, but if we're gonna play it safe and say, maybe they'll max out at the C770, I still think that's gonna be a really, really excellent deal. And if you're wondering about when these things are gonna be releasing, well, they do first have to release the B770 in the B780. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Those are likely to be coming out sometime this year. So if that's gonna be the case, assuming they don't cancel those again, well, then the C770 and the C780 would likely not release until quarter one or quarter two at the earliest of 2026. So yes, will be a little bit of a wait for the Celestial GPUs, but I do think this is gonna be where Intel finally gets on their feet completely and starts getting really aggressive versus both Nvidia as well as AMD, delivering you similar performance at a far, 
far lower price point. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the Celestial series will be this powerful and released by mid next year? Or do you think maybe it'll fall short or be delayed? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.